What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Got something new to share with you guys today. It's an Inkbird controller. Now I have Inkbirds running all of my reef tanks. I have two so far. Um, just the Red Sea Reefer 350 and the uh, Lagoon 25. Let me show you what it looks Here's like. Here's my tank. It's kind of on cruise control. I'm just adding little pieces here and there when deals come up on offer up. Like I picked up this pink toadstool. Picked up all of these Zoas on the frag rack right here. Just started collecting all the different varieties. It all started off at um, Reef of Palooza where I picked up this entire rack from Aqua SD. And everything's kind of like growing out. Some of these I started just with one polyp and been feeding it, taking care of it, and it's getting out there. This other chaos right here in the middle, it's kind of blurry, but I started off with one polyp and I see three now. And over here, it's an offer up pickup all these frags. I'm just trying to collect all of the Zoas right now. Everything is doing fine. Haven't been messing around with the tank that much. But the anemones are here. Pink, the rainbow. This is the replacement um, rose bubble tip and it's split right here. They're just hanging out. They haven't moved in a while so I assume everyone's happy. The only gripe I have is with the the rock. It's just a bunch of mushy stuff on it, but it's kind of receding. I'm going to do some water changes, see if it helps it with everything. But back to the topic. I have this Inkbird controller right here. It's used for um, heating and cooling the tank. So... I set it up to heat and my desired temp is 77 and currently the temperature for the tank is a little high. It's at 82.4. I never set up the cooling so you have an option to add a chiller or a fan. If you add a fan and you could put it into the sump area just to blow air to the surface of the tank or the sump and that relieves the, relieves the heat from the tank. But today, let me get back to the new Inkbird controller. Um, just off the bat, I think the only difference is the probe. So when I bought this, I don't think um, the current one I have in the box right there was available. That's um, aquarium safe. So the, the temperature probe has metal on it. I don't know if you guys can see in there, in the corner, you see a little metal probe right there. It's metal, but their new controller that's aquarium safe. Now let me get it out of the box so you guys can see how everything looks. Opening the box right here. It's a warranty card, 12 months. Here's the instructions. The controller, it looks basically the same as the one that, that I have currently running. In the reef tanks. Uh, let me see. So right here you get one cooling, one heating socket. And the difference is right here. This probe, it looks like it's disconnectable. And the probe is rubberized. So that's the only difference. Um, probe being rubberized versus uh, metal and it's disconnectable. The other version I have, this um, wire goes straight into the controller itself and 
from my memory with Jimmy H when he had a problem with the probe he bought some new probes off of eBay and he spliced the wire and hooked it up that way so I think these are consumable so it could malfunction and then making it disconnectable makes it easier to um, replace when anything goes wrong so you don't have to get rid of this entire controller just the probe now I know that most of you guys are like me you guys just take the product out and then set it and forget it that one time and no one really keeps this instructions manual or at least I always lose it so for the rest of the video I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of how to use the Inkbird controller and just have it up online for anyone who needs instructions or a how to on programming the Inkbird controller alright guys pretty easy to get into the controller to set up all of your settings all you gotta do is hit set for about five seconds once five seconds is up um, these two displays right here would change PV would start listing all of your parameters available SV is going to be your desired um, settings um, to toggle through all of the parameters all you got to do is continue hitting set and it will like flash through all of the different um, abbreviations and to set your values you just toggle it up and down with these two buttons right here so I'm gonna go through all of the parameters available um, real quick so you have a reference um, to what each abbreviation means so here we go I'm gonna press set for five seconds there you go we're in TS stands for temperature set HD stands for heating differential CD stands for cooling differential AH stands for alarm high AL stands for alarm low PT stands for compressor delay CA stands for temperature calibration and CF stands for temperature unit alright I'm gonna go through a mock setup as if I'm setting this um, temperature controller um, for the Red Sea Reefer 350. Right now it's in Celsius. I want it in Fahrenheit because I'm out here in the United States. So I'm going to hit set for five seconds. Oops. I'm going to toggle up top by hitting set until you see um, CF. And I'm going to hit up to change it to F for Fahrenheit and then hit set and we're into TS for temperature set I want to set this to 78 to hit set HD is for heating differential it's the difference of um, temperature to um, kick in the heating so I, I want it within one degree so I set it at 78 if it gets to um, 77 I want the heater to kick in to keep it at 78 so I'm gonna toggle this down to 1 degree Fahrenheit hit set cooling differential same thing so if this gets to like um, 79 degrees and I want it to 78 I set it to 1 degree Fahrenheit so it it kicks in the cooling alarm high um, this thing is very cool where it has an audible alarm that would just beep if it gets too high so I've had it before where um, I came home and the whole house was hot and the tank was about 84 degrees and the alarm was going off it's pretty cool that um, they provide that alarm so you know that something is wrong so for the Red Sea Reefer I would just set it at 84 degrees that's a little too hot alarm low I would set it where would I set this at 76 
that's just to alert you that something is off with the heater or the heater's not keeping up so I'll set it to 76 PT stands for compressor delay I, I leave this at zero because I think people use this inkbird controller to um, to um, brew beer and things like that and it's connected to a refrigerator so I leave this alone so for um, CA the temperature calibration you notice that it's off I guess you have one of those laser um, temp guns and you um, shoot your tank and the temperature is like one degree off or so you can um, kind of calibrate this up and down so you can calibrate the whole machine if it's off but usually if it's like really off I would just diagnose and replace the the probe so I'm not setting anything for that I'm gonna hit set and we're back to the Fahrenheit or the temperature unit after everything's done all you got to do is hit set for three seconds to hold everything and there you go so right now my set value for the tank is 77 but the probe is picking up 83.5 and it's kicking in the the cooling so right here has the the cooling um, usually I plug in a fan for my Lagoon 25 I have a fan in and heatings for heater but that's about it if you guys like that tutorial be sure to like comment and subscribe I want to know what you guys are using to kind of fail safe your tank um, I use this pretty much every day when I'm looking at the Red Sea Reefer I'm not messing with the controls or anything like that but I'm taking a look at this PV value just to understand or register in my head where the temperature is at for the day I think it's a very valuable thing to have where you're just taking a quick glance and you know the temperature versus um, using that laser gun and shooting the temperature I always misplace that that tool and I think the heads up display is very valuable besides that I like the built-in alarms so if anything ever goes wrong and it's out of your parameters the alarm would sound and alert you right away that something is wrong with, with your tank um, with coral it's very important to have the temperature within a certain range if you go below or above that range um, you'll start seeing things die but yeah if you guys are picking up the Inkbird controller for the aquarium be sure to pick up the this model number right here zoom focus it's the ITC 308S I think the regular one with the metal probe is ITC 308 if you pick up the 308S you're gonna get this rubber probe so you have no worries of kind of contaminating your reef tank with any metals or anything like that now I have the other two probes in the tank right now I don't see it I don't see it rusting or anything like that and it's been fine but as a fail safe I think you should go with this rubber probe and it's disconnectable so right there I just disconnect it and it senses an error and there's an alarm to alert that something is off but yeah that's all I have for this week if you guys want one of these ink birds for your aquarium I'll leave a link in the description where you can find it through Amazon it's about 30 bucks and there's a little checkbox to get some more discounts off of it etc but yeah I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'll catch you guys on the next one bye